honorable commission shall be the truth shall be the truth the whole truth the whole truth and nothing but the and truth, nothing but the truth. So, help so help me god uh, alias uh is a covenant covenant yes in the training school then thank you very much yeah. um now the the chairman of this commission will tell you and everybody will tell you that you are not on trial here at all yes i'm listening right nobody is on trial right nobody is a fact finding commission custody with the sss in abuja yes in abuja but uh, we are here now yes uh, yes now you were a member of the strike force yes sir uh from from when to when uh from 94 to up till now <laughs> Mustafa has been 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 the commander of the strike force as near. Yes, Major Hamza Al Mustafa is the chief security officer of the security department yes. in which a uh, strike force is one of the subunits under the security department which he is the head of the whole department. I have an OC that is directly working on that. Uh, normally i would be right to assume that none of you would undertake any assignment or any operation on your own that is without orders from him no no that's right you would not undertake any assignment whatsoever any of operation without order from mustafa no right How many, how many operations, how many assassinations have you gone on? Uh, I have gone on uh, three. Three assassinations? Yes, sir. On the orders of Mustafa? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. But I what I want to explain we Yes, you will explain. Okay. You will explain there. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, don't um you have been is one killed. In those of this no only one. The one that I at, I went to is only one person that was killed. That was killed. Yes sir. That was the one in which you were involved. Yes. What about the other two? The other two one is uh, Alex Ibru and uh, the other one is uh, Abraham Ade Sanya. Thank you very much. Yes. So Mustafa would be lying if he said he never sent you on any assassination. Is that all right? You see Mustafa is a human being. I met him at uh, at SIP. You see, I am not surprised that uh, he he refused to accept his responsibility because uh what is there is uh, it takes more than the spirit of a man to for you to accept such a responsibility generates the liver you are a born again christian presently yes good for you yes. 
I, I made that remark because of your answer to my last question, that it takes more than the spirit of an ordinary man. Yes. Yes. Unfortunately, very few people have that kind of spirit. Now, you, you know or you knew Rear Admiral Omotenma. He, he, he was a famous military man. I don't know him. I only heard about it in the newspaper, in the Tel magazine, in which I was alleged to have killed him, to kill all other people, which I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Yes, for, I'm, I'm satisfied with that answer. Yes. As I told you, I, we have no preformed notion about anybody. Certainly not me. You knew him, that he was a military man. He was, he was a senior Navy of, uh, naval officer. Yes, based on the publication in the newspaper, in the magazine. Right. Now, um, you have answered that you did not have anything to do with his assassination. No. I will accept that. Yes, sir. Um, do you know whether any other unit of the strike force had anything to do with that? No, I don't know. You don't know? Yes, sir. Um, this strike force, when you go out on operations, uh, you go out in, uh, in uh, batches. Yes. Like, what I mean is this, how many of you, for instance, I know it will depend on the nature of the operation, how many would be sent by Mustafa to go and kill uh, Chief X? For instance. Okay, you see, what happened was, uh, you see, the operations, they are state operation, yes. and the security department comprises of different uh, 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 organizations, which include the armed forces, the police, and other related sister security agencies like the SSS and NIA, DIS, etc. So Major Mustafa, that is in charge, who is in charge of the security department, has the power to call on anybody from any subunit to assign him on any assignment based on need to know basis or any how he wants. He has the power to call on anybody. Yes, sir. To go and kill. Whatsoever. Whatsoever. <laughs> yes. Sir. My Lord, that will be all for this witness. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. For Mustafa has treated us to a lot of lives here. Any questions in relation to the reporters? Can we make progress, please? Um, Sergeant Roger. Ma. Permit me to call you that. Yes, ma. You stated a while ago that um, during your tenure, you still belong to the strike force. Yes. Yes, while you were actively involved in its activities. Yes, ma. You were involved in three assassinations. Yes. Okay, yes. And that in one of, that the only one you personally handled, yes. only one person died. Yes, sir. You didn't tell us who that person was. Uh, Elijah Kudurat Adiola. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. Though, excuse me, ma'am. Though I was, I was told not to say it here, but uh, I don't think that's all right. I won't ask you any more questions. Oh. Thank you. So you are told not to talk about it. That's all right. We'll respect your wishes. No, I can talk about it if you want. That's all right. Yes. Uh, do you know one Lieutenant? Ibrahim Umar, I.S. Umar. Yes, I know him very well. Okay, he was in what capacity? Uh, he was the two IC of strike force before. Okay. So uh, second in command. Yes, second in command. But later on, he had a problem during the 1997 coup, okay. in which uh, he was invited to the SIP. So at the SIP, uh, he had a problem. Uh, they released him. So in the night. Well, the story is 
I, do you want me to tell you everything I know about him? Yes, please, go ahead. Thank okay. you. Okay. I.S. Umar is uh, our second in command in the strike force. So uh, he has been a very good officer, but uh, well, while we were on course, he had a problem. He could not make up the training very well. So the commandant, there was a fight even among, among the strike force while we were in training school. He had SSS training school. We have been trained by the Israelis. They came from Israel and we are trained here on a special anti-terrorist uh, course. So uh, he, he, he could not make it very well. So the, then the, the commandant sent for Major Mustafa, he came. When he came, he tried to he settled the problem. Though he is supposed to be RTU'd, there were two. The other one uh, was sent to, to the store. Then Umar was now managed uh, with, the, with us. We were trained together as commanders. As commanders, it was, you know, there is no ranking system there. You, though you will respect your senior, but uh, you can be picked and be trained on different uh, aspects of the course. So we were trained together as commanders with uh, Major Mustafa, uh, with uh, IS Umar. And uh, during the training, he couldn't make up very well. But uh, Major Mustafa, from what I heard, he did not tell me, oh, he said they should manage him. So he was managed. Managed? No, he was managed during the course to pass out. So. That's let my people go. <laughs> yes. yes. Because, a, you know, to become an officer is an opportunity. Uh, because anybody can be in that and you will perform very well. So what I'm trying to tell you is that he was managed, truly. Then we, when we were posted to uh, Abuja, in Abuja, he's always going alone. He does not want to mix up with people and... Uh, at times he does not want to take instruction from our Oga Ikilama. He, he's, Ikilama is the OC strike force. So he's always like that. So alone. He's always moving alone. Trying he's trying to bring he's always trying to bring sentiments into the strike force, which is not so. So Ikilama now when if Ikilama gives him assignment. Sorry man, uh, sorry uh, sorry. Sergeant Traders, yes, what sort of sentiments was he bringing? Uh, the sentiment is, you see, the strike force comprises of Hausa, Yoruba, Igbo, Efi, different tribe. It is lie. People have been saying that it is only the Northerners. It is lie. So when he was in the strike force, he tried to bring segregation between the men. So with all this small, small attitude around. Uh, he was being sidelined. That is the truth. They don't give him uh, uh, responsibilities. We are being called upon as junior uh, rank and file. The senior NCOs, two of us, AB3, myself, Usman Bawa, and uh, Nura, and, sorry, Nasiru Arbo, we were given responsibilities in which Mustafa is here, he's alive. There are some boys this, uh, that are ir uh, ir uh, drunkards and so on. He gives us responsibility to take care of them. To, if they give them their RCA, this ration allowance or danger, we will collect it. Give them one third of it. Keep it. Keep the remaining one. That is how some of them we will buy house for them. Some will give them to buy car. Some they will buy grinding machine. So we will, we, will also, we will also be reporting back to Major Mustafa because we know him. If you do not do the right thing, he will deal with you. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Sergeant. Ma. Can you hear me? Yes, ma. Lieutenant uh, Umar has stated before this honorable commission yes. that on a certain occasion yes. you came to him to sign for a silencer. Is that uh, correct? Did you ever ask for a silencer? Okay. Uh, by the way, you see, I am in charge of logistics in the, uh, in the strike force. All the logistics in the strike force is my duty to provide food, to provide a radio set. If there is a problem to repair, I do it. 
ammunition, silencer, weapon, even Ikilama cannot issue you as without the approval of Major Mustafa. So for him to say, I come to ask of silencer from him, I don't think he's telling the truth. Because me, I am in charge of the logistics. And anything that is going out, if it is ammunition or silencer, that is going to go out of that place, anybody, he has to contact me first, then I will tell Ikilama. You understand? And the weapon I use, they are, they are fitted with factory fitted silencer. I don't need silencer from him. You understand? So I don't need silencer from him. All whatsoever I want, I know how to get it. And I don't think there's any problem with me and him on those. No, no. Thank you very much. Yes. Was he also aware of these assassinations? Yes. Okay. There, when we come back from uh, uh, Kudira's assignment, he now called me. He said he was uh, a bit disgruntled. He, 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 I don't know the problem between him and Major Mustafa. He now told me that uh, I don't have skeleton in my cupboard. I said, what do you mean, sir? He said, uh, I think you people, your ogre, will send you people and you will not like to tell me. You thought I don't know. I know I'm close to Major Mustafa, but not so close. Nobody will say he's very close to Major Mustafa in the security department. No, I am telling you because I know who he is. He, he gives instruction based on need to know. And uh, maybe the closest person can be his orderly or anybody. So he was trying to say I am very close to Mustafa, this and that, trying to bring sentiment or say something that is uh, not right, I tell him, no, that is not the case. But I did not disclose it to him. But I know he knows because it is not only one person that goes for such assignment. It is not only two people that go for such assignment. We are many and they say three is a crowd and up to four people go for such assignment. If I can keep quiet, Mr. B cannot keep quiet. If I can keep it to myself, Mr. B will have a confidence. That confidence too will have another confidence to disclose it. That is how it used to spread. So I am not surprised. Okay, thank you very much, Sergeant. You've been most helpful. Yes. Now, I suppose I will be right to say that there were many sub in the strike force. Yes, you, oh. in the security department. Yes. Apart from uh, the assassination squad to which you belong, were there others? Oh, what? This assassination, there is nothing like assassination score. Yeah, nothing like that. Uh, what, let me explain why. Please do. Oh, anytime there is assignment, because the instruction that they are giving us is, what they are telling us is that these people want to break this country into two. They are importing arms and ammunition into Nigeria. We go into bush, move about searching for arms and ammunition. No food at times. We are doing it wholeheartedly. For the sake of Nigeria, we believe then. I am telling you. But later on, oh, it is not easy for somebody to come out and say it. Later on, when I come to realize when Abacha died, I saw some of those people that we are looking for as terrorists, as people that are importing arms and ammunition into Nigeria, as people that are inviting uh, terrorists to come and kill Abacha because some they said they are inviting terrorists to come and kill Abacha we will go and be waiting for them throughout day and night in this Lagos we will not see them some will lay ambush we will go into bush we will cross we will not see who we are looking for we will not see arms and ammunition Though they are, we have contact agents that used to take us to all these places, we don't know them. They take, we don't see it. So when Abdul Salam came into power, I saw some of these people again. They come to the villa. <laughs> I was surprised. And uh, I saw again, uh, I, I met with uh, General Bame again, when he was talking about, uh, he, he believed by now I could have run. We are expecting that they will say that we have done a good work. We are expected to be praised 
that these are the people that serve this country. Because the colonel, I cannot, the colonel uh, J.P. Yakubu, he tells us that we should not be afraid. Our name is going to enter a book that we are the ones that fought for this country, for the unity of this country. It is pathetic, my situation. Every day, I am telling you, that is just the basis why we are going on these operations. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. Uh, now, you, I, you are now a born-again Christian. Yes, ma'am. I suppose. Uh, now, looking back on all those activities of those days, which perhaps were the signs of the times. Yes. Do you feel any remorse that you will be Madam. Please and please, I, I felt 